Hello, this is Mr. Beck. Welcome to part five of my video series on creating a game using Android. This is designed for my eighth grade Android programming class. Uh, in this video, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to take these gray Android buttons down here. We're going to swap them out for graphics that look uh, a little better. So, uh, the first thing we need to do is let, let's show you the graphics that I have set up. If I look under the res and then the drawable folder for this project, I've got two of them here, bac.png. And that is just, um, it's gonna be our background for the button. And you can see it's just transparent here. That's what I went with, something that is a nice transparency. And it's got a, a size of 80 by 40. Uh, you want it to closely match the dimensions of your button and I find that that's, that's well and good there, 80 by 40. Um, I've also got two arrows here, a left arrow L arrow.png and uh, R arrow.png. And those uh, look like they're just a couple of arrows that I've uh, doctored up here using, in this case, I used Photoshop, but uh, we have access to the GIMP in class. A lot of times that's my uh, graphic editor of choice. And uh, I, I use Photoshop because I like the, the beveling and the, the glow and some of the stuff that it'll do. Um, that particular arrow I, I used uh, Photoshop for. So I've got two arrows, one pointing in either direction. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our res folder and we're going to drop down to where it says layout and we're going to open up our activity main.xml, which is where we reference things like buttons, text views, uh, our general layout, what elements are drawn to the screen, okay? And the two buttons I'm gonna work with right now are button one and button two, our left and right arrow. So I'm gonna call this one, it's pretty simple. We've got what's called an image button, um, which works, uh, it's similar to a button in pretty much all respects, except we can now use an image instead. And it just takes two further attributes here and it's the Android, um, and look at this, Android colon SRC, drawable, and then the arrow, right? And then Android colon background, drawable, and then what you're going to use for the background. So those things need to be added in, swapping out for the button. And I'm going to go ahead and do that down here for my second button as well, except this one is now, right, L arrow. Okay, so the Android manifest here is, or excuse me, our activity main is now laid out. Let's, uh, let's drop to the main activity class where I have these two things. And uh, let's take a look. So here's my button one where I'm setting the button pressed and inside of simple bitmap, we work all of these things out. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna make this image button instead of button here. Turns red, a quick control shift O is gonna organize our imports and import image button for us. And of course we are grabbing our button one um, from the layout file and we're gonna cast that this time to an image button, simple. Everything else is gonna work just the same. Uh, I'm gonna come down here for button two and make that same move image button, image button. So now I've defined my image button here in the layout file and I've uh, switched out the regular button for an image button here. And when I run it, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this while I do that. You can see that I have uh, two buttons now on either side that are those arrows and they function just like those arrows would as I push the arrows, the ship rotates. Now, go ahead and let's take the thruster button in class and make it something uh, unique, something that might indicate we are going to, who knows what you wanna put there to make that work. But uh, that's the upshot. Uh, when you finish with this particular lesson, you should have three image buttons along the bottom. And uh, that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching.